What's going on boys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to go over the new update that came out today. There's some really cool new things that's come out. We've got transparent walls with little windows in and some new skins that have come out, some ninja skins. So we're going to check that out, um, see what it's all about. So again, make sure you hit the subscribe button, put a thumbs up on the video and enjoy. Let's go! So here we go, boys. Ooh. Damn, boy. That's looking good. It's like a police outfit. It's like some sort of elite police outfit. Top up any amount and you can get it for free. So any amount you top up, guys, you can get that skin for free. Uh, if the top up reaches 2.5, you get... What? That's bullshit. So basically, guys, it's saying top up any amount can get it for free right there, yeah? But then it says behind me, if the top up reaches $2.50, you can get the body armor for free. And if the top up reaches $4.50, you can get the trousers for free. And then you get the broadcast for three days and plus four days. The special broadcast for that suit, but... A bit misleading because it says here top up any amount and you can get it for free so i don't know we're gonna check out later on but oh look at this skin as well the ghost skin damn look at that and the female one as well looks amazing whoa yo those are some dope skins and i'm surprised because these are coming out before season five ends so you know the developers are doing a great job when they're bringing out skins a week before the Apocalypse Season 5 starts, but that looks amazing. Uh, a lot of you guys are wondering as well, uh, they keep asking me about the, um, the Season 5 update. It's going to be coming out next week on the 14th of March, uh, so that's when Season 5 fully releases. Uh, so the last video I made was sort of secrets and little hints of uh, stuff that I found that looks like hints for Season 5, so yeah. Let's see what else we've got to check out here. So let me just read over the patch notes quickly just to see exactly what they've added. So they've added the future cop, which we've just saw there. They've added a new P229 pistol skin, which we'll check out in a second. The new Ego Warlord set, Mask of Enlightenment, Straw Hat. So we'll go and check those out. Um, they've optimized placement of the springboard, ejection seat, and other gadgets. Automatic placement is now more intelligent and efficient, making gadgets easier to place successfully. So that's a lot better, guys, because as you know, when you're in the middle of a fight and you've got to kind of get out quickly, quickly on an ejection seat or a springboard when you're like hammering the button down to try and pull it on a mat and it's not going down that's the most annoying thing ever it does get you killed in some situations so they've made it so it's slightly easier to you know place now on the uh, on the flats um, they slightly expanded the scope of the explosion that occurs when a more but mobile is destroyed yeah 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 weapon adjustments they've reduced the bout Reduce the bounce of grenades after hitting other objects so that the grenade will not bounce too far after the first collision. That's pretty cool. Because as you know, guys, when you throw a grenade and it does bounce off an object, it goes flying. And it goes nowhere near where you wanted to throw it. You really have to kind of use precision where you want to throw the grenade. So, um... That's a, that's a pretty cool little update they've added in. Uh, they've updated, they've adjusted the hunting grounds. The altitude at which survivors parachutes automatically open is increased by 25 meters. Okay. Uh, fix the problem regarding the automatic parachute opening for survivors. I haven't played the hunting grounds too much, so I'm not going to go into too much detail of that. Uh, Holy Battle is now available on a new classic map. So they brought back the Holy Battle, um, aka Minecraft. Um, they fixed a problem on the new class of map where your view would be blocked when using a scope while crouching in bushes. They basically just added sort of loads of little things. Um, yeah, little updates. They've increased the maximum number of friend applications. This will be changed to 100. They've optimized the guild benefits interface. If you quit in the middle of a battle, the video auto-saving function turned on, your gaming recording will be saved. Oh, that's pretty cool. So if you accidentally back out or you accidentally lag out in the middle of a fight, um, it automatically saves your saves your video recording. So that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Anyway, let's check out some skins. Ooh, damn. Pin, Pyo, Toe, Sha, Kai, Jin, Retso, Zai, and Zen. Wow, look at that. Look, you've got two little grenade hold grenade holders right there as well. Yo, that looks wow cool. Especially with those uh flags I've got on the back as well. Damn. It kind of reminds me of a uh, Soul Reaper. If any of you guys played the PS1 game Soul Reaper. Um yeah, that looks amazing. Uh and here's the female one as well. 
looking very cool as well. I like the little kind of single thing they've got on the back. Uh, the single little thread thing on the back. That looks amazing. Um, <clears throat> they've also got... Wow, you can... Uh, is that a... Is that a, is that a pickaxe? Is that a handheld? No, it's not. It's just an accessory. So this is just, yeah, one of the accessories, a ninja sword. I don't really think you need that. When you've already got the buster sword, you don't massively need that. So it's not a massive sort of thing. But wow, the hat, wooden helmet, way of the warrior. That just looks... I don't know. I'm not going to say the word, but that looks a bit, uh, bit freaky. Um... Let's have a look. Wow, it's Mask of Enlightenment. That just looks scary, especially with my little crow nose coming through it as well. <laughs> We've got a straw hat as well. Very samurai. Um, and that's basically it. They brought the duo... Oh, they brought the... Uh, oh, no, they haven't brought the duo blades out. You still have to complete the mission uh, to unlock the duo blades. So, yeah, that's that. So, again, guys, uh, they've also brought out transparent uh, buildings. So, I'm going to show you... Uh, well, I'm going to go check that out now. So, let's have a look. So, what's going on, guys? I'm going to show you quickly um, the new transparent walls that they've added into the game, which um, which are, they kind of look pretty cool. They're going to help massively. So, as you can see here, when you put the wall down, before the uh, the wall is fully regenerated, it'll add um, a little window gap. So, if you have a look there, there you go. It kind of adds a gap, so you can quickly see through. So, if you're kind of backing away from an enemy... You can kind of quickly just peek through and see exactly where they are. So, I think this is a good thing. They haven't given too much away. Uh, it's on the ramps as well, which is cool. So you can see people under you as well. So, in build fights, that's going to be really cool because you can actually see people under you. So, that it looks like the floors have three little dots removed from them. And it looks like the walls have two. And it looks like the ramps have just one big one and kind of one tiny little one as well. So... Uh, I wonder if the downward ramps have more. No, it's the same as the upward ramps. So, yeah, I mean, uh, that is uh, is pretty cool. So, build fights are kind of going to be a lot easier now, uh, in my opinion. So, yeah. Let me know what you think about that, guys. So, there we go, guys. That's the update this Thursday. Remember, the Season 5 next week, the 14th of March, is coming out. So, look out for that. It's going to be even more skins. New battle pass, new leaderboards, everything. So, I hope you're enjoying the content. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Whack a thumbs up on the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, boy!